This is my Fisher Price Wide Open Mass Finder diaper bag. I'm gonna start off by saying this review is gonna be kind of long. There are no reviews on YouTube currently, and the reviews online are I think are um, rating it kind of hard. So I'm not sure if it's like competition trying to knock down this new product. I don't know, um, but I don't see any of the complaints to be founded. Um, there's four pockets that have these tabs on them. This one shows a diaper and inside of it came came this um, changing pad. It's pretty standard for what comes in your diaper bag. Um, maybe a little longer. I won't be using it. I'm going to get a Skip Hop Pronto diaper changing thing. I do cloth diaper and this is a fuzzy bun and I haven't used it yet but I can quickly stuff that on the outside. So if I'm in a hurry, um, like say I can lay my child down on my changing pad in my car, put this side at their head and then quickly grab my wipes and my diaper bag and then my wet bag will be inside the main compartment. Um, on each side is these big pockets and you could put probably your wallet, toddler's sippy cups. Um, you can also put um, up to size six diapers in there. I have three. These are borrowed. I run a daycare, so they're for just demonstration purposes only. There's three size five diapers in there. Um, there's uh, plenty of room. I can get a couple fingers in there, so you could get up to a size six and probably still three or, yeah, probably about three. Um, on this side, the tab has a bottle and inside it, it's an isolated bag, insulated, I'm sorry, and um, you can put two eight ounce bottles. This bottle actually goes up to 10 ounces and it's probably with the lid, one of the biggest bottles on the market. So if it fits in there, um, you can probably put any bottle in there. And this is just a Fendair Advanced. Um, this pocket is undesignated, so I always try to put things that I need to grab quickly. Um, I actually will probably use this as receipts. Um, I'll put my wallet in one end and then toss all the receipts and trash from through the day in there. Um, this one has a pacifier and it's got the, that nice lining that's like that stuff that's slick and just wipes off. So, um, you can probably use a, like... Clorox sanitizing solution in there and keep it clean. This pocket's also undesignated, but it's pretty big. Um, I have no idea what I'll use it for at this time. I might put like my Nook or something in there. Like, yeah, right. Like I'll have time to read with a newborn. Um, then the bottom has plastic feet. Um, they're kind of shallow, so I don't know how effective they will be, but they should help a little bit with keeping the bag clean and from getting scraped up. Um, I'm doing this one-handed. Um, there's, I found some bad reviews saying that it's hard to open one-handed. I just did it uh, and didn't fumble with it at all. It's pretty easy. Inside, it's got a light colored lining. So it doesn't become a bottomless pit. You can see what's in there. Um, it has six of these mesh pockets, which I'll probably use like for like breast pads, teething ring, like Tylenol and Mylocon, snacks, maybe a some toys um, and then this inside I could probably put another depending on what kind of diapers I could probably put at least four fuzzy buns sacked up in there on this end I could put my Moby wrap a receiving blanket a change of clothes a book and um, a big big toy I'm, I'm talking like a stuffed bear or something in there uh, and still have plenty of room to close it um, some of the reviews say that the metal bars start poking out within a few months. Um, I'm thinking that maybe they updated it since then, but this material um, is like that seatbelt material. This nylon, it's kind of like this nylon stuff. So it's pretty heavy duty, and I've been kind of rubbing it and stuff, and um, I, it feels like the bars in there aren't very um, sharp. So I don't anticipate it coming through. Um, they also say that these bars bend. Um, I took two hands to it earlier, but you can't really bend it. I think um, somebody's just writing that because they're upset that they ruined their bag and Fisher Price wouldn't replace it or something. But I think about the only way you could bend these bars is if you overstuffed it and they stretched, or like an older child accidentally sat on it or stepped on it when they were inside of a cart. Um, 
Otherwise, it's great. Um, some of the reviews say the straps fall off. I don't see how, I'm sorry, um, how this can, um, just this seat belt material and it's on there tight, just like it would be your buckles on your seat belt. Um, for your car seat, uh, does your seat belt buckle come off your car seat? No, I don't know what people are doing to tear these off. Um, again, maybe I have an updated version. Um, they also say these tabs flop off. They're the same seat belt material and they're stitched on there good. Um, the zipper goes all the way down, so it's not like they misstitched or anything. Same with this side. So, um, overall, I think this is going to be an awesome bag for us. I'll find out starting in June. I'm due in June. And then if I start having problems, I'll update my description box. So, keep posted. Um, I hope you enjoy the review. Uh, I wouldn't hesitate to buy this bag if I were you. Um, I know if you don't get to see it in person, it would be kind of hard to purchase it based on the reviews online. But um, I'm telling you when I've showed you the ins and out, it's not cheap quality stuff. I mean, it's like heavy duty, like canvas slash seat belt type of material there. So if you're still debating, go check it out in the store. Otherwise, um, buy it and I hope you enjoy it. So, all right. See you later.